Blockbuster show number 344, VTR date 3282. This will air the 16th of March, 1982, hopefully. This is the battlefield for our game of speed and strategy. These are the letters that lead to victory on Blockbuster. And here's the star of our show, Bill. Thank you and welcome to Blockbusters. Nice to have you here. And Bob, I don't know, it takes you longer to get that letter. You know, you're not really dragging my name out. You're trying to recall it is what you're doing. <laughs> I'm going to write it down, put on a little slip of paper, and leave it with Kitty. <laughs> That's his wife. This Blockbusters, happy to have you with us. we got a good game going here. Between our returning champion, ladies and gentlemen, he's Leland Young. He did The Limit not too long ago. We brought him back to continue when The Limit was extended. And so far, he's won, would you believe, $82,600. Welcome back to you. Thank you. We've had other returning champions who have not fared nearly so well on their time back. You've done quite well this time. Were you worried about a jinx, perhaps, or not? Well, uh, they had told me that nobody up to now had done well. When I ke first came, in, uh -huh. came back in, uh -huh. uh, but, you know, I don't let those things bother me. Well, I'm glad you don't. Are you married? No. See, you don't let any of that stuff <laughs> bother you, do you? How come you're not married? Choice? I mean, are you, you haven't found your girls you I haven't like? found anybody, and choice, I'm devoting myself to my career right now. Yeah, and you know what you should do? You should tell me to mind my own business, too. What am I asking <laughs> no, that's questions right. like? No, it's ridiculous. Let me, say, let me say hello now to a gentleman who is very happily married, in spite of the fact that his sister-in-law who's with him doesn't think so. No, I'm only kidding. Sandra Wilson and her brother-in-law, Foster Holland, welcome you two. Hi, Foster. Hi. You know, we should do, we should mention your wife's name, I think. What's, what's your wife's name? My Bob? wife's name's Lynette. Okay, okay with you, Sandra? That's just fine. And Lynette is your sister, right? Yes, she is. Now, when time was called last time, take a look at our board. Our family pair had answered uh, correctly twice, trying to make a side-to-side -side connection. And Leland, our solo player, had answered correctly once, trying to connect top to bottom. Foster, you came up with the last right answer, so it's your choice. Let's pick it up, and good luck. With the E. Okay, E. Answer starts with E, and here's the question. What E is where trap shooting began in the early... Yes, England. Foster. Hmm? England. England's the right answer, Foster. Good, good go. <laughs> it began in the early 18th century in England when hunting uh, lands became scarce, thereby the artificial mean. Uh, Foster, your choice. R. Okay, family pair going for R. If they get it, they'll have four-fifths of the battle won. Here's an R question. What R may symbolize the devil if it appears in your dreams, or is the bird that said, Leland. Raven. Nevermore. Raven is the answer. You dream about, have, if you dream about a raven, is, have any of you ever dreamt about a raven? No. I never, <laughs> anyone here ever dreamt about a raven? Oh, you just said that to get on television. <laughs> I don't know anyone. If you know anyone who's dreamt about a raven, let me know. Uh, Leland, you came up with the right answer. Where are you going? The G, please. Letter G. Wait a minute. Just getting a phone call from another raven. <laughs> Letter G. Everybody ready? Answer begins with G. What G was a kind of calendar or a medieval chant? Gregorian. Gregorian chant and the calendar. Five notes, as I recall, the Gregorian. I always liked it because I didn't ever learn as many notes. Question, another G. What G gained independence from the Ottoman Empire in, in 1829 and was the site of Leland? Germany? Nope, repeat it for the family pair. Raise your hand. Hear the full question. What G gained independence from the Ottoman Empire in 1829 and was the site of the original Olympics? Yes, Sandra. Greece. Greece is the right answer. Uh, <laughs> right answer, Sandra. Almost did a spoonerism with your name there, but the answer is yours. Where are you going? Um, I'll try C. All right. C called for by the family pair. What C is the Welsh town where a breed of dog has been used since 1000 AD to herd cattle by biting their heels? 
or is a button down the front. Leland. Cardigan. Sweater. Cardigan is the right answer. That dog we were talking about is the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. Corgi or Corgi? Corgi. Gee, yes. Gee whiz, I should have remembered that. Leland, to where? The A, please. Letter A, fa uh, solo player. Calling for it. Family pair trying to get back in. What A is the town in Washington State founded by a member of the Dole Pineapple family, which is named after a Hawaiian greeting? Leland again. Aloha. Aloha's right, and you have it again, Leland. Well, take a good look and make your choice. The V, please. If Leland comes up with the V, answers correctly. It's another game, another $500. Foster and Sandra, you want to stop him. You've done quite well so far. Question. What V can be used to help keep cut-up apples from turning brown? Yes, Sandra. Vinegar. Vinegar's the right answer. You want it back. <laughs> sure, you use it. Vinegar will keep apples from turning brown after you chop them up. Where are you going, Sandra? Take a good look now. Don't let me rush you here. This... I'll try the L, please. Okay, letter L called for by the family pair. Making a game of it again. Question? What L is where 106 people died in December 1962 as a result of four solid days of killer fog? That's Foster. London. London's right, Foster. You got it. You beat Lee under a button on that one. <laughs> Sometimes I watch out of the corner of my eye, peripherally, as it were, when I come up through, through that fog in. Three people bang those buttons so fast. Foster, you just beat them by a little bit. You got the right to answer. Where to? Now, take a good look at the board. Uh, oh, D, please. Okay, letter D. It will not quite do it, but it'll sure get close. Here we go. Answer starts with D. What D was the rookie center fielder for the New York Yankees in ninth Foster? DiMaggio? Right. <laughs> Foster, I've seen a lot of players agonize between the time they push that button and answer, but oh, you take the cake for that one. You get an Oscar for that, Foster. <laughs> Uh, the, the year was 1936. Boy, Foster heard D and he heard Yankees and he thought, I'm going for it. Okay, take a good look at our lineup there and make your selection. I'll take a chance on B. Okay, the letter B. That would do it for you. No two ways about that. Circuitous, albeit, but correct. B. Family pair can win the game and $500 with this. Leland, we'll try to block. Question. What B was invented in 1891 and is played today by Dr. J. Oh. oh, Sandra for the game. Basketball. You did it, game in 500 bucks. <laughs> Pretty good. Congratulations to the family pair. You pulled. That was funny. Sandra said basketball. I said right. And Leland said wow all at the same time. 500 bucks for the family pair. You've broken that ice. And we'll be back here to play another one of these, we hope, exciting ones in a moment. Right now, this for you, please. So. Well, the family pair, we were talking after that last show, and the family pair, I said, uh, Foster, you're not nervous? He said, well, I, I said, after you've been around as long as I am, you're not nervous anymore. And he says, I hope we're around that long. <laughs> I do too, Foster. I hope we're all around that long. Boy, that'd take us well into the 21st century. <laughs> family pair has picked up the $500. They need one more game to win the match and go for 5,000 more. Leland, 82,600, going for this game to tie the match. Gonna start this one with a letter P. You're all ready, here's a question. What P was nicknamed Black Jack? And was the Leland? Pershing. Pershing, absolutely, correct. He was the first general of the armies of the United States, World War I, General Pershing. Where are you going, Leland? The S, please. Okay, letter S, chosen by the solo player. Question. Oops. That's okay. <laughs> there, Leland leaned on the button, that's okay. 
I'll say it again. What S was massacred by the United States Cavalry in Leland? Sue. Sue, right answer, you got another one. What else were massacred by the U.S. Cavalry in the infamous battle at Wounded Knee? Sue was the answer. And later, uh, that led to, well, I wanted, I'm not sure of my history. Where are you going, Leland? The E, please. A letter E. Okay. Leland's making a comeback here, trying to tie this match. Here we go. What E holds sand castles together? Because wet grains of sand have tiny charges on their surface. Leland? Electrons. Nope, repeat it now for either the family pair. Raise your hand if you want to answer. What E holds sand castles together? Because wet grains of sand have tiny charges on their surface which makes them stick to each other. Yes, Sandra. Electricity? Electricity is the answer we were looking for. <laughs> okay, there's the first show of the white hexagon on the board and that was yours, Sandra, so you select. I'll take the M, please. Okay, letter M, uh, N, you said. M. M, uh, letter M up top there. Okay, here we go. Everybody ready now? What M is a radical punk haircut modeled <laughs> Foster? Mohawk. Mohawk's right answer, you got that one. <laughs> Rest of the question, modeled after a style worn by a tribe of Indians. We'll pause briefly, be back here in just a moment. Right now we invite you, nay implore you to watch this. <laughs> Well, let's pick it up here. Well, the white represents our family pair. The red, our solo player, Foster. Uh, the family pair has one game up in this match. You have the last correct answer. You pick, so where would you like to go? H. Okay, letter H. I'm getting fairly close. Question? What H built a steam jet engine in 100 BC? Or is another name for a submarine sandwich. Leland's first. Hero? Hero's the right answer, by golly. That's amazing. Guy built a steam jet engine 2,000 years ago and we remember him for a sandwich. I guess that isn't exactly what it said, but I, I got that impression. Uh, Leland, where would you like to go now? The A, please. Okay, letter A, Leland has it back. And of course, Family Pier needs this too. Here, here's a question. What A is Latin? for elsewhere and is an accused person's defense that he couldn't have committed the crime Leland alibi because he was elsewhere alibi is the right answer that's it well now where to the I please if uh, Leland gets this one it's a game five hundred dollars and a tied up match answer begins with I what I was imported from India to the British Isles in 1193 for use in dyeing f Foster. Indigo. Right, Foster. Indigo is the answer. Boy, that's a last minute save. For use in dyeing fabrics, a bluish color. Foster, you came up with the indigo answer, so you get your pick now. Uh, I'd like to go with O, please. Okay, the letter O. Family pair taking a whole new direction there. Figuring if Leland, I guess that's what they're figuring, if Leland gets it, it won't hurt. And I don't blame you, that's good strategy. O, what O are the American Indians who were called the people of stone and were once led foster? Opie? Nope, repeat it for Leland now. What O are the American Indians who were called the people of stone and were once led by Chief Shenandoah? Please do not help. Omaha's? Nope, the Oneida. Eastern Indians. I mean, they were in the east. Uh, Omaha's out this way further. Okay, nothing uh, ventured, nothing, well, it was a lot ventured, but nothing gained. Here's another O question. What O was first celebrated in 1810 at the marriage of a Bavarian prince? And today is an annual Leland. Oktoberfest. Fall event. Oktoberfest is the right answer, Leland. Good. Got it back there. Okay, that was good reasoning, putting all those, those few facts together. So, Leland, again, you have the choice. Where are you going? The U, please. Look at that board. 
The U will do it for Leland if he gets it, so family peer needs to block. Question, what U did some people once believe could tell if a liquid was poisoned just by dipping its horn into it? Leland. Unicorn? Unicorn, right answer. Game for you and another 500. <laughs> So, Leland, you did it. You tied the match up. It's $500 a piece. That was an interesting question. The unicorn could tell if there were poison by dipping its horn. It was later found that there were no unicorns. Thereby, that couldn't be true, so scientists did correctly assume that there was no poison. We'll be back in just a moment. Right now, we have a word for you. Yeah. A representative of our studio audience will receive Olympia's Report Electric Typewriter. Combines the versatility of a portable typewriter with the speed and comfort of an electric model. Furnished by Olympia USA. Back to Bill! <laughs> Hi there. Okay. This turned into quite a match. Family pair won game and 500. Leland won game and five. Well, when you say 500 to Leland, it's a small portion of his total winnings. He's a returning champion, as I, I hope I explained at the beginning of today's show, and thus far, $82,000, $83,100 total winning. Trying to run it up. Uh, we increased the limit, so we're bringing back some of our ex-champions. Foster and Sandra, you have done well. You've won a game and you've tied this match, and we're ready with a tiebreaker now if everyone's all set and reasonably collected. If not, I don't know what I'd do. I just have to go on and sell. Uh, gonna start this with the letter M. Okay, ready on your buttons now. That's the important part. What M covers the walls of a hall in the Palace of Versailles? Yes, Foster. Moss? Nope. And repeat it for Leland now. What M covers the walls of a hall in the Palace of Versailles? And is what a vampire can't see his reflection in? Mirror. Mirror is the correct answer. You have that. Um, a vampire also cannot see his reflection in Masonite, for that matter nor can anyone else. <laughs> I add these things because knowledge is a precious thing. Where are you going, Leland? The A, please. Okay, Leland, going for A. It's my job to educate. Question answer starts with A. Everybody ready, please, with a button. What A is a little smaller than Texas, has no sea coast, and is bounded by China, Russia, and Iran? Leland? Afghanistan? Afghanistan is the right answer, Leland. You have another one. I beg you. Oh, yes, we have, a, we have a bulb difficulty. You folks at home, if you have any red crayon, run over. <laughs> In the interest of accuracy, red crayon or, or your wife's lip, or your mother's, mommy's lipstick. Yes, get, get some of them. Mommy's <laughs> lipstick and color in that little hickey. That should be red there because we have reds and we have whites. So they're okay. Okay, now that's all set up. <laughs> Leland, where do you want to go? The F, please. Okay, letter F. Here comes question and answer. Starts with F. What F is the NBC musical drama? <laughs> Leland. Fame. Fame's the right answer. <laughs> Boy, that was quick. That was quick. It's a TV series based on the film about New York City's School of Performing Arts. Fame is the answer. Okay, now remember at home, all three of those hexagons should be colored red, and we're waiting for the little kitties to go get mommy's lipstick. <laughs> or, or, or nail polish in case mommy's lipstick is not available. <laughs> Dip that, that in there. Where are you going, Leland? The L, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like it. I mean, I don't love it, but I like it. Answer begins with L, and this is an important one. I will now get serious because Foster and Sandra, you want to come up here and get a block and keep this whole thing going. Leland, you want it for game and match. Question, what L is the third largest city in Ireland that gives its name to an often naughty five-line rhyme? Game and match, Leland. Limerick. Limerick is the right answer. You've won it. Congratulations. <laughs> so 
Good game, Leland. Yeah. Okay, Leland, good game. And Foster and Sandra, you played extremely well. You came close, as I say, but sometimes just for the positioning, you could very well. Yeah, $500. In addition to that, you also have won some consolation prizes. And we give you with our very best wishes and thanks for being with us, oh, our blockbuster game. game. Thank you. <laughs> Now, for, for, you, for you young ones at home, the game is over, and you'll notice that as I talk to you, there's a little red glob there in front of me that you put on there with mommy's nail polish. <laughs> Actually, in the interest of accuracy, it indicates that which no longer applies, so go get daddy's wristwatch and rub it finally. <laughs> we'll be back here in just a moment. Right now, I've got a word for you. <laughs> Leland and I will be back here again tomorrow. Give Leland a chance for another 5,000 big ones. Okay, Leland? All right. You folks, why don't you invite your next-door neighbors over to see the funny red blob in the middle of your television screen. Thank you very much. Nice having you here, and hope you think enough of us to join us again tomorrow when we'll be right here at the same old stand on Blockbusters. Goodbye. <laughs> Some of our contestants will receive a 22 piece mask for getting over drive socket set and two value hardware stores to provide value and personal service at over 5,000 locations nationwide. And a generous supply of Kentucky Fried Chicken. It's Tim Reducey, Fight Up the Bike, at Kentucky Fried Chicken and Weeding Chicken Right. And lift an iced tea in the winner. Why not, says Don Meredith. You drink other cold drinks in the winter. Why not lift an iced tea made from tea bags? Dandy taste it. And if you want your teeth are white, you need Pepsin in it. So for Asian formula really does get teeth are white with Pepsin and toothpaste. And Hershey's Crackle, Crisp Rice, and Hershey's Real Milk Chocolate now available in popular single bar, six-pack snack size, large, giant, and big watch sizes, Hershey's Crackle. And Campbell's Chicken Noodle, Vegetable, Tomato, and Vegetable Beef Soups come in 26-ounce cans. Idea for family, stir up the Campbell's Soup is good food. This is Bob Hilton speaking for Blockbusters, a Mark Dixon, Bill Todd production. If you like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more. And check out my Facebook page for other exciting content.